In this next video, we're going to turn our attention to our user login capabilities. But before that, I just want to pause and acknowledge how much you are crushing it here in this video series. We have done a lot, as you can tell, with everything uh, on the menu completed and on the profile section. Um, we have done everything on the profile page except for uh, this login sign up and this settings panel when this is clicked it's actually going to go to a little panel and in the in the the video after this one we'll create that panel so that users can log out but first in this video we're going to create it create the functionality so users can log in um, we have some payment functionality to do in this uh, course and then um, yeah more ad administrative things uh, less, I guess, less building, you know, like we've been doing. We're building the user interface, we're building the functionality. We'll be doing things like customizing the look and feel of the app so that it's, you know, more unique to your particular style and branding and all of those sorts of things. So, that being said, let's go ahead and dive in for this video's content into what it would take to set up a login and, uh, yeah, user sign up flow. So, luckily for us, uh, Bubble as a software tool makes this very easy for us. They have a uh, if you look under here on your on your top left menu these reu reusable elements and click on sign up login pop up. Now reusable elements normally so in Bubble a lot of times when especially for desktop apps um, this is a re reusable element because it'll be accessed from various pages and so it might need to be put on as a pop-up onto many different pages so then it's just the same pop-up every time someone clicks that button on the header they get the same thing here we're only working with one page and we just navigate in between pages uh, with our that nav equals URL so what we the only thing to know here is that we're just going to customize this and it's kind of just you know the the place where you go to edit it is going to be different than normal. That is the only thing you need to know. So you just kind of bounce down here to this reusable elements area, click on this, and then let's go ahead, remove the styling for our color. We're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. And let's see, uh, what exactly am I clicked on here? I'm on the group sign up. Uh, let's see. Where was I on login? No, I was on this top level group is what it looks like background style none yes okay ah okay it was actually this this top 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 one here I just want to make sure I'm getting all of these straight okay uh, and then there's this pop-up reset password we'll have to remove that styling and then go one two one two one two there okay and so what we need to do actually uh, quickly navigate back to the mobile app and let's go with um, let's check out on our floating menu on this conditional we can grab this orange color and we will take that over to this sign up pop and log uh, pop, uh, sign up and login pop up so let's start actually let's start down here uh, we'll start with this group sign up and for this button we'll just go ahead remove the styling for the appearance we'll give it this orange and then for this button switch to login remove the styling and switch the text to orange and then also switch the border to orange okay and then here for this text we'll just make it some kind of light gray cccccc looks pretty good uh, then up here for this heading go ahead and hit that orange and let's see if, if we made it slightly darker what would we end up with I like that FF9 D00 okay so we'll just want to remember that FF over here in this group login so FF9 D00 and then we're gonna do the same thing for looks like this is all divided up in neatly into rows so we'll just need to access the different rows each of them themselves and make that orange and update this and then 
Let's see what this is. Reset password. Okay, cool. So with all of that, and oh yeah, we'll need to do this text. Uh, let's go with that CCC that we were doing. Remember me. Great. And I think that looks fine. We could we could we can edit these slightly, but it's it's good enough. You know, um, in a future video when we come back for branding stuff. Right now we're just. Um, kind of building it out as it would match the app that we're building here currently. So, okay, so there is the sign in and log up and then this reset password. Remove this. I think it was FF9D00, maybe? Yes, okay. And then um, background style for this button and the color for this. CCCCC for this. Okay, so so people can get a, a a password reset. Okay, so now actually let's go and let's look at what the workflows are for this uh, um, this out of the box login functionality. So if the button forgot password is clicked, it'll show the reset password and it'll hide this uh, sign in login. Okay, so that's cool. Um, this button when, lo when it's logged in is clicked, someone will log in. And so actually we're gonna to wanna to add something for our app, navigation, go to page. So when they when a user has logged in, we'll want them to end up at the home page. So similar to all of our other navigation things, just nav equals home. And then I'm gonna skip over from this login one. I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste this here as well for when they sign up. So whether they log in or whether they sign up as a new user, um, we just want them to go to the homepage. Cool. Uh, let's see, when this button reset link is clicked, we wanna send, yes, so this will send a password. So here is where you would want to put, uh, let's see, two things actually. Someone submitted a request to reset your password on the, uh, we're, we're calling ours Yoga Flow. Uh, and then down here, we'll say the Yoga Flow Team. Okay, so uh, that being set up, then what else? This is just navigation switching around from whether we're logging in or we're signing up. Yep, so this is a, the state of something to, you know, there's some conditionals on these, this login, for example, this conditional, um, if it's login, then show it. You know, and if it's uh, this one is sign up or it's empty, show this other one. So now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's navigate back to the mobile app, and then here we will go down to reusable elements. And it looks like you know, I I did make a copy of one at one point to just save the original, and so what uh, you'll want to do is just make sure that you have the one that you've just edited so you'll take that and drop that onto the page and uh, it looks like it's actually a little bit big so what I'm going to do is navigate here and this is hidden and we're only dealing with this then layout okay um, okay so actually in this one depending on when you signed up for bubble one of the things I did for this was I set I said I allowed their new responsive engine in mid course so that perhaps um, is a change that, so the minimum width is 64. Well, let's go ahead and just see then if that shows up on the page. So one thing that we want to have happen is, let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, so we want to, in our workflow, back here on mobile app, 
we want to add an extra, an extra workflow. So down here, click um, General. When the user is logged out, we want two things to happen. We want element actions. We want to show the sign up login pop up that we just dragged onto the page. And we want to, let's see. For now, we're going to do this just over on the home page because basically, when we log out, we'll send the person to the home page, but then we'll hide it so that when they do log back in, they can see it. So in order for this home thing to show, we need it to be uh, the home page for the navigation, and then we need the user to be logged in. So if the user is not logged in, then this condition wouldn't be true and it won't show. So let's see what we get here. Great, so here is our logup, login. And okay, it looks like we can click out of that. So we actually need to take this uh, same conditional here. And when the current user is logged out, this element is not visible. Okay, so we'll just refresh that. All right, great. So there's nothing that the that the person can actually do besides log in or sign up. So right now in our database, we have under users one that I created here called test. And when I created that, I just did a new entry here and added it. But so here we're going to try it out. Signing up, we're going to call it test2, test.com. And we'll just say here and we will uh, okay we're actually on the login screen we need to go well we can just browse around okay so here's the here's the reset stuff okay um, let's say test at test.com okay so we want to navigate then to this workflow when this is hit hides the reset pop-up and let's see we're going to copy this this is from this will set the state of the login to uh, to login so that should actually bring us back to where they could log in instead of just a blank screen So let's see if they do this reset again. Just testing all of our things here. Okay, it looks like we need to show. To show it and set to state. And then we'll sign a user up and we'll see that in the database. But it is good to just kind of mouse around and see all the different possibilities that a user could click around and take. Okay, so so they would have you know gotten an, uh, an email link in their pat or an email in their password with a with a link to reset it. And then I guess if they click that link and they could come over and reset it, but uh, or they could you know get back to this screen. So let's go ahead and have someone sign up. So we're gonna say test two at test.com. and we'll sign up. Okay, cool. So we can see we're taken to the home page and in the next video, we'll actually get to see, you know, how we can log someone out as well. And one last thing then, we'll just go and refresh our data and we can see that test2 as a user has been signed up and you know, they haven't joined a plan, they haven't started a first class, so on and so forth. Looks like we should uh, do one la one last thing for this video. Mm. This one, I'm trying to hit the cancel button here. Okay, and 
what I wanted to do, <laughs> what did I want to do? Go navigate to data types, user, and start at first class, which is default as no. Perfect. Okay, so that's it. That's, what's, uh, that's what it looks like to have a user sign up for your app. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll build a settings page that is just that gives information about the app, about the, you know uh, the website, the Instagram, the you're logged in as this user. You can log out if you click here, and so on and so forth. So I'll see you in that next video.